have habits, whether it's a good habit or bad habit, we still have habits. Nobody can say that I don't have any habits. Every person in this world have particular habits. Maybe they are not aware of it that they have a habit because sometimes some people might tell you, oh, you have this particular thing you're always doing. You have this type of habit or your neighbor even might notice that you have certain habits. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Liliana and if this is your first time here, you are welcome. So I load videos here, self-development, business, making money, live life in your own term. I load the video weekly, sometime on monthly basis, depending on my schedule. So on today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking about uh, healthy, good habits. Yes, we need healthy, good habits in order for us to move forward in life. Because when we don't do certain things in the right way, we end up uh, having frustrate, uh, frustration with our own life, blaming everyone else, the family, friends, and the government. And we don't want that. So we need to be aware of the certain habits uh, that we do or that we need to start doing or we need to stop doing. So what are the good healthy habits? Consistency is a good habit. If you're cons a type of person, your consistency when you're doing something, even though in the couple of months or weeks when you don't see a result, you are consistency, you are consistent, that, co that is considered as a good habit because most of the time, most of people, they fall short in life, they get frustrated because they are not consistent. So even though sometimes some that they are in the right path, let me give an example, like maybe they started a business, maybe the business started slow, they are making little money because the person is not patient, they are not consistent, they think like, oh, it's not working. And then they end up quitting so soon when the actual business had so much potential. So consistency is a good habit to have. If you're finding yourself, your person, you're always starting something and then leaving it, forgetting it, and then start something else and then forget that one and then move on to the next one. You need to cut that because that's not a good habit. Because if you really want to see a result on something, you need to have consistency path. You know, like uh, when you get in the certain age, like in the colleges or uni or some courses, sometimes the, the, the teacher can kick you out because the teacher might say, you're not consistent. you come like uh, maybe twice a month, once a month, and then you disappear. So the teacher might say, get out of my course because I, have, I, make, I can give this um, seat to somebody else who really wants to learn. Because why is the teacher keep kicking you out? Or why is that workshop are kicking you out? It's because you're not consistent and the teacher feels like they are wasting the energy and the time on somebody who actually does not want to receive the help. Even though you might say that you do want to receive it, but you're not consistent. So consistency is a good hab habit. You need to be consistent on the things that you're doing. The next good habit to have is also being faithful to your word. So be a man or and a woman who keeps on the word. You know, like uh, when you are a woman or a man of your word, you, people can trust you because you can go even your family, your friends, you can say, can you lend me a hundred? Can you lend me uh, one thousand? The person are more likely to give it to you without questioning you because they know that you are a person of your own word. You keep you keep you keep on with your words you don't you're not the type of person that you say something else and you do something else or you say something next week you change to something else no you what you say is what you actually do and that is also good for companies because companies are more likely even you ask for company for favor something because they have that record of you of being consistency and being faithful they are more likely to lend you or to help you with something or to give you more time because you are a person of your word so that is a good habit to have so if you notice yourself you seem to be most of the time you say something you do don't do it you do something else you need to try and examine and stop doing that because that's a really bad habit and it's not really good for your image because you find that is sometimes even family members or friends they might say oh no don't do it because they, he says this but he doesn't do it i'm not sure if you notice people like that you you tell somebody oh this person was asking me for favor then the person said to you no don't do it because that person they don't do what they say so that is a bad for your name and for your image so you need to be a person of your words 
the next hab good habit you have is fixing your bed when you get up in the morning yes this might be sound silly childish why would i fix yes i know i read some i even read somewhere even in the i can't remember if it was a magazine or a blog that successful people when they wake up they fix the bed so it's a, it's a good habit to have not just because successful people do it but it's a good habit to have i understand if like uh, you 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 have a baby you sleep in the baby and the, you'll be baby in the same bed maybe the baby's still sleeping you can't fix it that's fine or you have a partner your partner maybe wakes up at different time from you that is different but if like both of you they wake up at the same time or if you sleep alone before you go out always try your best to fix up your bed because uh, not fixing up your bed it gives that vibe of being very lazy and uh, a person can walk in the room and just i'm not talking about tidying up the whole bedroom i'm talking about the bed that you sleep you just imagine like when you go out and you come back the bed is still the same it just gives that bed energy so get in the habit of starting slow fixing your bed fix your bed when you see messes around fix it don't be a person who sees a mess they just walk around it it just it, it brings that negativity you want to come home sit around wherever you are in your bedroom you have that spacious it opens up your energy your mind do you understand even you go to therapy they will tell you about these type of things that uh, being clean clean up your space is important these are good habits to have another habit good habit also to have eating healthy eating healthy drinking a lot of water those are good habits because when you're not drinking water you're eating always junk sweet things it's not good for your skin it's not good for your health it's not going to help you so work on your health also at the same time these those are good habits to have drinking water eating less sugar with things it's good to apply into your life guys hopefully these tips has helped you if you have any other habits leave it on the comment below i want to hear about it so write it down whether it's good or bad and i'll see you again on the next video if you're not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe bye bye for now